Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture 26, Organic Chemistry 1. Today we will continue on chapter 7, Alkyl halides, nucleophilic substitution, and the elimination reactions. Let us summarize what we have already covered, SN1 and SN2. For the SN1, uh, the nucleophile will be a weak nucleophile, but for SN2, we need strong nucleophile. Substrate, the tertiary alkyl halide will react faster than the secondary alkyl halide than primary. For SN2, the methyl halide will be faster than primary, faster than secondary. For media, Solvent SN1 will be favored in polar solvent, protic solvent like alcohols, water. For SN2, polar aprotic solvent would work well like dimethyl sulfoxide, dimethyl formamide. In both mechanisms, leaving group should be a good one. For SN1, can be cut catalyzed or forced or enhanced using silver nitrate. For the kinetics, SN1 unimolecular, the rate depends only on the substrate, while SN2 depends on both substrate and the nucleophile. Stereochemistry of the outcome products will find that mixture inversion and retention in case of SN1 mechanism. Inversion only in SN2 pathway. In SN1, we can find rearrangement, rearrangements in the common for SN1, while it is impossible for SN2 reaction. Okay, let's apply what we have taken. First question, for each reaction, give the expected substitution product and predict whether the mechanism will be predominantly first order or second order. 2-chloro-2-methylbutane in acetic acid. 2-chloro, 2-methyl-butane is a tertiary alkyl halide. Tertiary is N1. Okay, let's now check. Acetic acid, oh, weak nucleophile. So when I have weak nucleophile and I have tertiary alkyl halide, I'm expecting the substitution will be SN1. That's right. Okay, and... The product will be 1,1-dimethyl propyl isanoate. Take the halide out and insert the nucleophile. Okay. This reaction started with loss of leaving group to form the carbocation and then nucleophilic attack either by the OH lone pair or the C double bond O lone pair. The first choice will form localized charged species while the attack with the lone pair of the carbonyl will give cation that delocalize three different structures. Which one is more stable? Of course, delocalized charged will be more stable, followed by deprotonation or proton transfer to form the ester final product. Isobutyl bromide is primary alkyl halide. 
primary, and then sodium ethoxide strong nucleophile primary and strong nucleophile SN2. The right choice. Take the BR out and insert the nucleophile to give this ether. Now, tertiary alkyl halide, the IU, one iodo one methyl cyclohexane, and weak nucleophile, once again, tertiary alkyl halide and weak nucleophile, SN1. And the product will be 1-ethoxy, one 1-methyl one cyclohexane. Taking this out will form highly stable tertiary carbocation, so there is no rearrangement. Secondary alkyl halide and weak nucleophile. Secondary alkyl halide and weak nucleophile, methanol is SN1. Okay, so we will get the ester, mesoxycyclohexane. But secondary alkyl halide in cyclohexyl bromide, but strong nucleophile is N2. Alright, isoxycyclohexane. Let's solve this question under certain condition to promobutane when heated with water. SN1 substitution proceeds twice as fast as SN2. Calculate the enantiomeric excess and the specific rotation expected for the product. The specific rotation of S butane to all is plus 13.5. Assume that SN1 gives equal amount of enantiomers. When we react to promobutane, this molecule, with water, we get SN1 twice than SN2. So this will be 66.66 and this will be 33.33%. We have a mixture in SN1, so we have racemic mixture, and that would be optically inactive. The optical rotation of the mixture will be, here we have 33.33% of optical activity times the specific rotation of the S isomer, because this is R, and this is S, so the specific rotation times percent will give you the optical rotation. So in antiotomic, EE will be 33.33, and the optical rotation will be 4.5 degree. Although the metal halides such as aluminum chloride, and iron chloride are useful for generating carbocation intermediates in hydro hydrocarbon solvent. The metal halide reactants are deactivated in protic solvents such as water and alcohol, rendering this reactant relatively useless for inducing SN1 reaction. There is, however, a related hydrophilic reagent that accomplishes this. This compound is silver nitrate, and in aqueous or alcoholic solution, it promotes ionization of alkyl halide and the formation of SN1 product. When silver nitrate is used, primary or secondary alkyl halides rearrangement may occur before the product formation state. So if we have alkyl halide, Lewis base, with metal halide, Lewis acid, that will form uh, acid-base complex, which dissociate to form a carbocation 
and methyl halide anion. But silver nitrate is useful. So we have here this primary primary alkyl halide reacting in the presence of in, in water in the presence of silver nitrate the interaction between silver and chrome led to the formation of primary cation which then rearrange to form secondary carbocation the nucleophilic attack to form oxonium hydrogen transfer led to the formation of the final product alcohol remember that the rearrangement can take place simultaneously rearrange while leaving so muscle shift may occur simultaneously with ionization. Give mechanism for the following silver promoted rearrangement. One iodo methyl bicyclo 222 octane to bicyclo 321 octane 1 all using a mixture of water, ethanol, and silver nitrate. The first step is loss of leaving group using silver ion promoter to form primary carbocation. Alkyl shift, so these two electrons of the sigma bond will move to that carbon and then go and attack on the primary carbocation side leaving this carbon positively charged followed by nucleophilic attack with water to form the oxonium ion deprotonation led to the formation of the product with substitution reaction there always a competition with what we call elimination reaction so when we talk about substitution we always put in mind that there is a competition with another reaction called elimination and elimination involve loss of two atom or groups from the substrate usually with the formation of pi bond with the formation of pi bond first order elimination competing with SN1 mechanism so the first step is loss of leaving group to form carbocation here we will look at the reagent as a base as a base not nucleophile so will attack on the hydrogen on the neighbor carbon and abstract the hydrogen these two electrons will go to the carbon carbon to form bi bond. The rate of this reaction depends only on the substrate. So this is a this step is a rate limiting step. This is a slow step, this is fast step. Second step is fast step. And again. The starting material, energy diagram, transition state one, then intermediate, the carbocation formation, then the attack of base on this hydrogen to get the product, transition state two, and then final product. This is what we call it energy diagram for this reaction. Very similar to the SN1.
rearrangements in E1 reactions. Like other carbocation reactions, the E1 may accompany by rearrangement. 2-bromo-3-methylbutane reacts with methanol to give SN1 products plus E1 products. For the pathways, the first step loss of leaving group from the alkyl halide to give secondary carbocation, which undergoes rearrangement hydride shift to give a tertiary carbocation. So we have both secondary carbocation and tertiary carbocation in the media. Methanol molecules here will react as base. So for the tertiary carbocation, it may attack abstract this hydrogen or that one. Okay, so proton transfer, take this hydrogen out. These two electrons will go and form bi bond to give this product. Or attack on that one, abstract this one, two electrons to form double bond in here, and to give two methyl put two in. This one, looking for the alkene, we have one substituent on the double bond, two, three. So this one is tri-substituted alkene. We will get to know that the tetra-substituted is more stable than tri, and tri is more stable than di, and di is more stable than mono. So this one will be a major product. And that one is two methyl put one in that di-substituted will be minor. Go back to the secondary carbocation. We have here hydrogen. We have here hydrogen. So the methanol will abstract this one or that one. Getting this one will form the three methyl but one in. And again, that's mono substituted on D1. Mono substituted. So that will be minor, and we'll give the same compound that's common from the uh, proton abstract from the tertiary carbocation and the secondary carbocation. So this compound will be a major. Okay. For the SN1 products, dissociation for secondary. Hydraft, hydride shift tertiary to give the tertiary carbocation. Then the methanol will react as a nucleophile instead of base in E1. So will attack on the carbocation to form the oxonium ion. Hydrogen transfer to give the ether to methoxy to methyl butane. <laughs> And we have also in the medium secondary carbocation attack of the secondary carbocation. The secondary carbocation methanol will give this oxonium and proton transfer to give two methoxy two methyl butane. So these are the two SN1 products. Give the substitution and the elimination products you would expect from the following reaction. 3-promo-3-ethylbentane heated in methanol. This is tertiary alkyl halide. Association will give tertiary carbocation. Then we'll have 3-ethyl-3-methoxybentane as SN1 product and 3-ethyl bent 2 in as the E product. Stepwise, tertiary carbocation, ethanol will attack, nucleophilic attack, with the long bear of oxygen, 
to form the oxonium ion proton transfer to get final product. For the elimination, we have three neighbor carbon, carbon atoms carrying hydrogen, but this carbocation is highly symmetric, so abstracting any of these hydrogen will lead to the same product. Here the methanol will react as a base, catching this hydrogen, leaving these two electrons to form by bond. And this will be the E1 product. If you have one iodo, one metal cyclopentane, heating it in ethanol. Well, for the SN1 product, we will have one ethoxy, one methyl cyclopentane. And for the E1, we have two products. One of them is one methyl cyclopentone in, and the other one is methylene cyclopentane. As we expect, the first step is loss of leaving group, forming tertiary carbocation, attacking of the lone pair of ethanol to the carbocation, form the oxonium ion upon proton transfer will lead to the formation of ether. One ethoxy, one methyl cyclobentin. The elimination product, this is a carbocation. How many carbon around it? Tertiary, so you have three carbons carrying hydrogens. If we get this hydrogen out by the base, then we get the methylene cyclobentane. These two hydrogen are symmetric, so any anyone getting out will give the same product. So getting this one out, two electrons here to form bi bond and forming one methyl cyclobent one in as the elimination product, so you have one and two products. Again, heating 3-promo-2,2-dimethylbutane in ethanol, the first step is getting this out, loss of leaving group, Okay, loss of leaving group to form carbocation. This is secondary carbocation. We find out that methyl shift could occur to transfer this secondary carbocation to tertiary carbocation. So we have two carbocation in the media. Ethanol will attack as a nucleophile, forming oxonium followed by proton transfer so O ethyl will be linked on the secondary carbocation to form 3 ethoxy 2 2 dimethyl butane or will be linked to the tertiary carbocation to form 2 ethoxy 2 3 dimethyl butane for the elimination products the carbocation, secondary carbocation, has, has only one neighbor carbon hydrogen bond. Okay? So, if ethanol will react as a base, taking this out, forming double bond in here, that will give us 2, 3, 3, dimethyl but one in. For the rearrange, 
metal shift will give tertiary carbocation. Tertiary carbocation as one, two, three, these two, one, two, they are identical. So the product abstracting this hydrogen or that hydrogen will be the same product. The ethanol will attack on this and forming double bond here will give two, three dimethyl but one in if the base attack on this and giving the double bond in here will form two, three dimethyl but two in. So how many E1 product? One, two, three. For this one, we have only mono substituted. For this one, we have the alkene. We have four, so it's tetra substituted. And in here, double bond is one, two, di substituted. The more substituted, the more stable. So this one will be the most stable and be the major product. Here is the rule, Zeitz rule. In elimination reactions, the most substituted alkene usually predominates. So tetra substituted is more stable than the tri substituted. Di substituted either on the same carbon or the two adjacent carbon with almost the same energy. And then that di substituted is more stable than mono substituted. That's Zaitsev rule. For the second order elimination E2 reaction, E2 process consists of one concerted step and it is rarely accompanied by other step. So the base will attack on the adjacent carbon carrying the halide. The base will attack on the hydrogen. Two electrons will go to between the carbon carbon bond to form bi bond. At the same time, leaving group is leaving. The order of the reactivity here that the tertiary alkyl halide will be faster than the secondary, faster than the primary, as E2 mechanism. A rate depends on the concentration of the substrate as well as the concentration of the nucleophile. Here is one power, one power, that sum of second order mechanism. Predict the elimination products for the following reaction. Explain your answers showing the degree of substitution of each double bond in the product. Here we have two different hydrogen on the adjacent carbons. So OH will attack on the either one, so they're getting this one out, forming double bond in here. This is going out. That gave di substituted alkene but two in. But two in. If the base attack on the this hydrogen. That will form put one in. That will be mono substituted alkene and its minor product, while the E2 in di substituted that will be the major product for this reaction. Reaction of 2 promobutane with potassium hydroxide. So one put in and put two in. Reaction of 3-promo, 3-methylbentane, 
with methoxide. Again, as you can see, the ethoxide is a strong base. It will react to abstract hydrants. We have here Uh, these two are similar and this is one different so we have here one hydrogen taking this out will form three methylene benzene that's di substituted one two and uh, if we get this out forming double bond Losing this one, that will give 3 methyl bent 2 in, and this one is tri substituted alkene 1, 2, 3. Okay, and that will be a major product. See you in the coming lecture. Bye bye.